Juan Erska has an opportunity to kick the San Diego Chargers into the AFC Championship game. The snap, it's down, he hits it, it's up! It's no good! But Erska, who feels, I'm sure, just broken about that play, hoping that he'll get another chance. chance. For most, missing a winning kick in one of the greatest games in NFL history would be a bitter disappointment. But for Rolf Bernerska, it was simply another step in a journey that began in 1978. The second season of my career, I came down with what I thought was the flu. I had fever, I had abdominal crampiness. There were three or four other guys in the team that had it as well, but theirs went away and mine progressed. That season was one of the most statistically successful of my career, but there should have been a little footnote that said the young kicker was dying. At the time, it was very difficult to grasp just how sick Rolf was getting. Oh, you, your stomach's upset. You'll, you'll be fine. Wait, you too much to drink last night or a bad burger? We weren't ready for somebody to be that sick. Benerska was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, a chronic digestive disorder in which the cause and cure are unknown. Rolf suffered in silence for over a year as treatments failed to control the disease. On a flight home from New England, I collapsed on the plane. and My colon had perforated and I needed uh, surgery and there were complications and six days later I needed a second surgery. And I woke up weighing 123 pounds with two ostomy bags on my side. Not sure if I'd see the next day and frankly not sure if I really cared to. Shortly after his release from the hospital with his body frail and his spirit weakened, Rolf was invited to a game. When news of Benerska's visit reached the Chargers' locker room, it was fitting that Louis Kelcher, a Bunyan-esque defensive lineman from Texas with a heart to match, convinced coach Don Coriel to allow Rolf to be honorary captain. Let's do this thing. You know, let's let the world know that we love him, that we're behind him. I was worried that I couldn't walk from the sidelines to the middle of the field. And Louis said, if you can't walk, we'll just have to carry you. And as I walked out, the stadium spontaneously stood and applauded. I had no idea that they had been following me. And I, by the time I got to the middle of the field, I was just in tears. Watching Big Louie holding hands with a little kicker. It's pretty neat. All of a sudden, it was just a thrill to be alive. That profoundly changed my recovery. And it would give me encouragement to keep trying. With support from fans, family, and friends, Bernerska returned to the Chargers in 1980. A year later, Rolf's courage would be tested again in one of the greatest games ever played. In many ways, that game was like a metaphor for my life. When it really didn't look like I was going to live, I was spared and given a second chance. In this game, a kicker misses a kick in, in, in overtime. They never get a second chance. The 29-yard field goal try to win it. The snap. It is down. It is up. It is good. Remarkably, I was given a second chance and was lucky to make it. That made me realize the same opportunity exists in life. The question then becomes, how are you going to use it? For over two decades, Rolf has dedicated himself to helping all walks of life and has raised millions of dollars for endangered animals. In 1987, Rolf's life took an unexpected turn when he became host of Wheel of Fortune. While Benerska never felt comfortable in the Hollywood spotlight, he has always felt at home as a humble philanthropist. For Rolf, each day is another chance to touch someone's life. I go back to Rolf always preaching. It's the journey, not the destination. I'm thinking, who would put somebody in a situation like this to experience this journey? Why? Maybe that was all part of the master plan. I heard somebody say once that wisdom is a tough teacher. She always gives the exam first and teaches the lessons later. Once you hang in there, then the lessons come out. He's had that opportunity, and he's made the most to share as much of him as he can. And, well, that's what you hope to do in life. And he's done it.